What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Today is September 2nd. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, not necessarily the day that you will resonate with it. So I've already started. Um, no, I'm not. I didn't already start. But I've pulled some oracle cards while I was meditating on the Ganesha mantra. I, read, I needed to release some energy. Um, you know, I'm under a lot of pressure with my business. So anyway, what I've come up with is Isis manifesting at the bottom of the deck for Oracle. It says, your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Um, I also got Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. The thing about it is I got this magic manifesting when I did a reading on myself as well. Because, you know, again, I was under pressure and I'm like, let me relax and do a reading. You know, meditate on Ganesha. But anyway, so we can expect things that we did not expect to happen to happen this week. We can expect uh, magic. We can expect miracles. We can expect something to manifest and as it relates to divine masculine and feminine energies. That may be you coming together, masculine and feminine coming together in a connection. This could be you personally on an individual level finding balance between the dualities of yourself and manifesting miracles because of that. Rediscovering a lost part of yourself could also attain to um, if you've been imbalanced on a masculine energy it could be rediscovering that hard work and dedicated part of yourself that was innating you the whole time if you've been on lacking on the spiritual energy that could be rediscovering your connection to divine feminine energy and um opening of third eyes and you know manifesting that connection with part of yourself as well and it can also resonate with the twin flame relationship coming together so expect, and I say this week because I did a weekly reading on myself and that's what I got. And I got it again in this Twin Flame reading. So expect magic to manifest as it pertains to rediscovering a part of yourself, as it pertains to a soul flame, as it pertains to masculine and feminine energies. All right, so again, <laughs> who do we want to check on first? The masculine or feminine. Listen, I need your help. I really do. I really, really need your help. So I'm asking if you work out, if you go to the gym, or even if you just want to support the movement, the Gym Body TMC movement, click on the link in my description box and order you a Gym Body T-shirt or, or a hoodie. I'm going to I order me a hoodie because I order me a Gym Body in progress because my body is not a Gym Body yet. If I stood up, y'all would see this um little stomach I have. But support the movement. Again, the marathon continues, and it doesn't continue through Nipsey. It continues through everybody Nipsey inspired, and that includes me, you, your business ideas, or just the marathon of your personal life, your the marathon of liberation and freedom. It's about us to continue um, the mission of liberation of the masses. Anyway, so let's check on, let's see what's coming up for the masculine today. It's always interesting to see which... Um, which energy I resonate with because sometimes I resonate with the feminine, sometimes I resonate with the masculine. I love that I'm getting the chariot. Um, I'm getting the chariot. So, on a lot of my readings, that means things are starting to progress, things are moving forward. So, we have spirit talking to us very loud and clear. So, I said this week. But remember, Libra season is September 14th, and things start moving into Libra, September 14th. So what I think this is just is something moving forward um, during Libra season, or expect for a moment during Libra season. I think this is just spirit reminding us the time period. The time period is Libra season, when things will start to move forward. Again, it could start September 14th when Venus moves into Libra. Yep. So that's what I think that's just is. Um, it's, I don't I don't get the I'm not getting disappointment energy. But another thought just came in my mind, so I have to tell you guys to be honest. Something that disappointed you in the past is now going to you're gonna win. That's it's going to progress. Maybe it was something that happened in the past or something that disappointed you before is now going to move forward. And as we do the reading. 
Again, this is masculine energy. And as we do the reading, uh, we'll see more and more as, as it pertains to, you know, the messages. But so far, I'm getting things moving forward during Libra season. But also things that something that's disappointed the masculine um, will be moving forward. And that's my cookies. All right. All right, what else do we have for masculine spirit? Ooh, child. Emperor, okay. Emperor energy. Building. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I'm getting time period energy again. <laughs> because the next three cards we have is the Emperor. We have the Eight of Coins. And we have the Ten of Cups. So, this is the Emperor working on fulfillment this is the emperor working on a family unit or bringing together a family or doing whatever it takes to manifest this fulfillment as it pertains to his family life so whatever is happening in the emperor's life right now is bring is working to bring together this partnership it's working to bring together happiness and fulfillment in his or her life yep masculine energy working on fulfillment working on a family Working on happiness as it pertains to a partnership. As it pertains to partnership. Interesting. Interesting. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles combination. Interesting. So, Emperor, so while you're working on building your family or you're working on emotional fulfillment, and you're putting your hard work and dedication towards your family partnership. Something happens quickly. And the Queen of Pentacles resonates with the Queen of Pentacles is, is a nurturer. The Queen of Pentacles is abundant. The Queen of Pentacles, what am I getting from this? She's wearing red. She is prosperous. So while you're working on one thing, I just feel totally separate energies from this. So while I feel like, you, like uh, you can't see this. Oh, let me move this. How did this get? The hermit. When did y'all see how this guy right here? So weird. I don't know how this got here. The light is with you. God is with you. With this hermit energy. I'm getting God is with everything that's going on right now. Remember, it was um, Isis magic manifesting. Isis is also divine feminine energy. And it's also um, Shekinah, which is also divine feminine energy. Um, to me, those energy also resonates with the hermit, the number nine. Listen, and this is two women too, right here on the side. Um, for the oracle card energy and honestly we have master jesus right here once i move those cards so what i feel like that message was is that the light is with you god is with you divine is with you this entire journey watching over this entire thing leading it and watching it unfold making changes intervening as necessary but the light is with you pushing you when you need to be pushed taking things away that needs to be taken away the light is with you. God is with you. Divine guides and ancestors are with you. So anyway, we got the Queen of Pentacles on this. And I, honestly, I'm getting different energy. I'm not getting masculine energy from here. So I feel like totally separate from the masculine building his family, his or her family, there's this Queen of Pentacles that abundance is flowing in quickly. Stability, abundance, and honestly, that could be the feminine. Wow, the masculine is doing this, the feminine is doing this. So I'll continue this reading, checking on both, both energies and figuring out which one it resonates, resonates with. Because spirit just threw that out. I didn't expect that. And I'm not getting, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling masculine energy on here. But while the masculine is working on this, the feminine is bringing in abundance quickly and stability and as it pertains to the color red, which is foundation, which is material wealth um, and abundance. Okay, then there's this decision, and the lovers is right under there. Now I'm gonna take it, I'm sorry, because I, something told me to look down and I did it. So then there's this decision, who to choose? Now, most of my readings, I'll just put this in the middle. 
most of the readings have been resonating with the choice being on the side of the feminine. But we'll keep pulling to see who's really making this choice. So while the masculine is building over here, abundance is coming in for the feminine. This is a time period during Libra season. Then we have the light looking over this entire ordeal. Yeah, the light. We have ice, and that's not ice. I'm sorry of these pictures on this. I like these cards. Um, this Keepers of the Light, I believe, cards, but I don't like how they depicted some of these images, you know, the colors they use. But anyway, we have the light watching over this entire ordeal. Okay. And then we have a decision. Someone has to make a decision as it pertains to three or more people. And as it pertains to love. And I love how the Eight of Wands keeps coming in these readings. This is going to happen very quickly and it's going to require a quick decision. Spirit keeps warning us about this. I don't know why. But it's something that we need to know. Soul and Luna. We have the Sun and the Moon. Remember, we're no longer just talking about the masculine anymore. Spirit didn't want me to do it that way because... I got this energy, and then I got this energy, which is feminine, masculine energy. Even though the Queen of Pentacles, you may not resonate as a feminine, but I'm getting feminine energy here, I'm getting masculine energy here, and I'm getting a decision that needs to be made as to who to partner with. Maybe both of them have to make a decision. Then we have Soul and Luna clarifying that it pertains to a partnership, you know, the sun and the moon, who this person wants to be with. Soul and Luna is a pair. It's yin and yang. It's... You know, it's light and dark, and not light and dark as in good and bad, but, you know, pairs. You can't have one without the other. So it's this connection manifesting, but still indecision as it pertains to who. Still indecision. What is going on? Masculine. It's this tarot card reading. She like masculine. She's so fun. The way she says it. I like her readings, too. I think it's called Tarot Prophecy. Okay. Mmm. Guys, I am so sorry. Like, my readings have been telling me the same story over and over, over and over, over and over. We have this Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands causing conflict. Knight of Wands resonates to me as Scorpio energy. So it's a Scorpio that comes in and causes conflict, perhaps in this partnership. Like, Soul and Luna belongs together. But we have this other entity that wants to come in and disrupt this partnership. We're going to call this the opposition. So far in this reading, we have time period. We have the light. We have the masculine. We have the feminine. We have a decision. We have this pair. And we have the opposition. So many people showing up in this reading. And we have the four of pentacles under here so that could be this night wants to be a karmic coming in disrupting causing conflict disrupting this connection because he or she wants to hold on to um, the masculine and or the feminine hmm okay okay interesting interesting oh guys i have to put this down i have to put it down one second sorry guys i was interrupted and then i got a cookie Okay, <clears throat> so we have this King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. <laughs> and the new bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. All right, remember I said there was a decision that needed to be made? So if you look at these cards, you have the two men on the outside and one woman in the middle. King of Pentacles is Aries energy, could also be Taurus. Queen of Wands is... Um, King of Wands is Leo energy. Queen of Wands, I'm not resonating with the sign. You know, of course, these are all, um, this is a fire sign energy. But I'm just resonating as a pair, not more so as a sign. So I'm looking at the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands as a pair. That's the second pair in this deck. The other pair we had, we had Soul and Luna. And don't forget, we also got the Lovers. So we got Soul and Luna, we got the Lovers and the King and the Queen of Wands. These two belong together. But what's confusing the situation, 
we have two different things confusing the situation. We got the King of Pentacles. Who wouldn't want to be with the Kingpin? <laughs> I love saying Kingpin. But what I mean by Kingpin is, you know, a man that's in charge. A man got his shit together. A man that is abundant. A man that is a business owner or a boss. Who wouldn't want to be with a boss? Who got, you know, this is a good choice. So when you have two good choices, one is better than the other. You just don't see it because right now and the outside without being in a partnership, you see it as two good choices. So this queen is in the middle of two good choices. Let me, if I can pick this up properly. The queen is in the middle of two good choices, but one of them is the best choice. King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Doesn't even have to be a Leo, but a pair. Sol and Luna, King and Queen of Wands. And what's also confusing the situation is this damn karmic, King, this Knight of Wands, maybe um, Scorpio. <laughs> Coming in to confuse the situation. Lots of passion, though. That could also cause a little confusion. We got emotion and passion. We have a lot of passion. Fiery passion. Intimacy. Attraction. In all of these partnerships. With these three and with uh, the Knight of Wands, you know, and the Five of Wands combination. Lots of passion for this Queen of Wands energy. This woman or feminine energy who's in the Queen of Wands energy. She's out, you know... She's the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles at the same time. She getting her, she's a nurturer. She's attractive. She's getting her coins up. She's a boss. She's alluring. You know, she gets things, she manifests things quickly. You know, she's about her stuff. She's about her shit. Sorry I curse, guys. Sorry if you don't, but I do. So anyway, she's about her shit and she's attracting these different men into her life and it's causing conflict because, you know, not all women like that. Some women need that type of attention, but this energy I'm getting here is like she's not for that. She doesn't want she doesn't want to have to make a decision that could be the wrong decision, but she doesn't want to hurt people either. So that's why this five of cups comes into play. It was also the it was a new bottom of energy when I pulled this too. It's like not wanting to she doesn't want to hurt hurt anyone. Yeah, she's ready to move forward with the partnership. Let's put this on the decision pile right here. Two um, kings and a queen. And happen to dis disrupt, you know, disappoint one and be with the other and partner with the other. Soul and Luna. This is the goal. Then we have this Knight of Wands. We'll put this in a decision pile. Cause an extra conflict. So it's like making a decision between... Um, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich and a Popeye's chicken sandwich and then you drive past Wendy's and Wendy's like I want some, you can get mine too so it's like adding confusion to already a confusing situation from two good choices all right so I'm still gonna pull cards on the other deck and sorry guys I keep getting interrupted um lost my train of thought but the video is still rolling we have a lot going on conflict men masculine energy is coming into um, this feminine's life who's very abundant and coming at her quick too and one in particular planning a family planning to build fulfillment in a family with her and working on it and we have soul and luna all right so this will be the last for this deck bottom of the deck energy we have Again, this hangman. Oh my god, it's the same bottom of the deck, basically. So we have this, this love from the past, a love offer from someone in the past, the soulmate connection. We have the hangman, contemplation, figuring things out, remaining still. We have the ten of swords, it's completion, and we have the eight of ace of pentacles, and I'll stop there. Opportunity. Opportunities flowing in. Ew, the inference there. Alright, so we'll leave that there. And we'll leave this here for the bottom of the deck energy. But the cards that were just pulled from it, we have Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Star. Maybe the feminine is stepping into recognition, stepping into some sort of fame or, you know, being recognized for her worth. And we have the Magician manifesting it, making it all happen at the same time, causing some comp competition for him or, or for the feminine. And we have the Eight of Cups, 
Walking away from things that don't serve me. Walking to better times. Moving, moving on up. That's what I'm getting with the Eight of Cups. Moving on up. Moving on up. Moving on to the east side. All right. So yeah, a lot going on for the feminine. Gotta make this choice. Well, maybe I'll put this energy with the feminine. Why? Because the decision. This goes with the decision. But this goes with um, the feminine. You know, I'll put it the feminine. Because feminine is stepping into her word. Feminine is stepping into her power. Feminine has a decision to make. These ma masculine energies coming at her. One in particular that don't lost his damn mind. They don't need to be coming towards her after all he put her through. You know, no. Getting in the way and causing conflict of this beautiful connection is masculine is trying to manifest with the feminine. Dope reading. So dope. I am going to be doing business readings all day. One, because it's hard to start a business. And let me tell you, the cars does not look good for Gym Body TMC. It's, it's basically, it's not supposed to make it, but it will make it. Your spirit told me that. And I did a business reading on it and I got cornucopia i got you know blessings temperance the lovers balance healing wholeness restoration happy family i got so much good energy from the reading that i did on my business gem body tmc again if you haven't pre-ordered please help me support my pre-order effort when you see this i need to meet with you know by in the morning i need to have at least 40 orders 60 40 to 60 orders anyway if you have a business and you need a reading on it Order a reading. I do those too. Matter of fact, I'll, point, I'll put the link for these videos for Gym Body TMC pre-orders. And then I'll also put um, the link for a business reading. Because you deserve to know. You deserve to have insight from spirit into whether a business will be a success and an action plan. For the $77 ones, I do action plans with those. You can order a regular reading um, for on your business. Fine, but... Uh, the one with the action plan is I, I get insight from spirit. What actions needs to be taken? There's too many cards that fell out. I am not taking all those cards. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sorry. I'll just take it. It's a lot. But it's the same. It's a lot of the same cards. Okay. I'll take them. So bottom of the deck, we have four of air. And under there, we have nine of air. So relaxation after a period of anxiousness. You know, rest, uh, mental rest and tranquility and at a meditative state after a period of high anxiety or indecision or, um, you know, turmoil mentally. All right, so how do I learn? The king of water, the king of air, two, another two kings, the queen of fire, and the queen of... The Queen of Wands keeps coming here, and this is my erotic deck, so excuse the images, but um, we got two queens again. Let me tell y'all, the, the same cards came out. We got the Queen of Fire and the Queen of Air again. I'm sorry, the Queen of Earth and the Queen of Fire again. Feminine, whatever's happening in your life, it's, it's definitely um, abundant energy, it's attractive passion passionate energy um it's alluring energy it's a lot of passion you have a lot of passion um and this king of water libra scorpio energy king of air um air sign energy is what i think aquarius i don't know but we have air sign energy again but we have two kings so far and we got the sun lots of masculine energy and here we have the chariot again Things are really about to start moving forward, and it needs to start today, Spirit. That's all I got to say, because I'm ready. Then we have the Knight of Water this time, this Offer of Love. We have the Six of Earth, which is balance. And we have, um, excuse me. We, again, when I said passion, there's a lot of passion in this connection with the Ace of Wands. All right, so again, things are going to move forward as it pertains to a masculine loss of, we have two kings and two queens here, but these two queens signify the same person. These two kings, it's like a mental decision as it made or a clear, mental clarity as it, as it pertains to a love offer or passion that this masculine would like to be a part of. 
king of water is stoic the king of water but i wouldn't even say stoic i would say solid because he or she is not moved by circumstances so yeah the feminine has to make a decision that's not changing the passion that this masculine has for her it's not changing the fact that they're ready to move forward with this partnership Eight of Water signifying better times, moving on up to better times, but also moving forward with this partnership and letting go anything that doesn't resonate with him, leaving the past behind. Knight of Water. Knight of Water. Why are you in the water? Behind. All these offers, there's multiple offers coming. Everybody's not going to get a chance because there's not enough feminine to go around because feminine has to remain balanced and solid within herself as well, his or herself as well. But the Six of Cups, I'm sorry, the Six of Earth is balanced. It's equal give and take. It's who do I choose that's going to be my partner who's going to give as I give. And this Queen of, I'm sorry, this Six of Earth, she's a, she's beautiful. She's a boss and she's pretty, you know, she's ready to serve and be served. So the feminine ready to serve and be served with the right person though. And the masculine making this decision and being unmoved by the competition but the feminine is abundant the feminine is alluring the feminine is attractive and things are moving forward and people are moving forward into his or her life and the feminine is walking away from some of them sorry guys i'm not trying to be redundant but like literally some of the same cards came out but again spirit is saying rest when this happens and, and things manifest so quick for you, again, we have um, I, we have the, the magic mess of manifesting in your life, feminine. We literally got Isis. Look at those two women. And we literally got soul flame. So when this happens, remain solid. Keep working on your goals. Keep working on yourself. And pick the person that's best for you. Whatever love offer from the past is best for you. And I keep getting sixes and fours. Four the number of... I resonate with union also with the number four, but also saw the foundation being created. And I also resonate with the masculine. So, and then six, uh, the number six is balance and partnership and number of the sun. It's also masculine energy for me, but also, um, yeah, so lots of masculine energy in this reading coming towards the feminine, but also balance. So remain balanced, remain solid, and, you know, just make the right decision for you. You don't have to make it as quick as everything is happening for you. But whatever this means for you, hopefully it means that as an individual, you're, you're reaching a level of balance and fulfillment in your individual life as well as the partnership as well. And don't let this partnership or this conflict or anyone come in and disturb your peace. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you love. I wish you life.